everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Carson. I'm a makeup artist and a clean beauty advocate, and I'm here on YouTube to help you figure out what's what in clean beauty. Today, we are talking about a very interesting brand that is newer to me called Typology. It seems to be the Parisian Ordinary with really affordable prices on products that are ingredient focused and very simple and fragrance free. So I'm really excited to show you these products. Typology did send them to me. I personally don't have an affiliate link with Typology, but if you do decide to purchase anything that I am wearing today, for makeup, then you will be supporting me and this channel to thrive in these tumultuous times. And I thank you dearly for your support. Thank you so much to everyone that uses my links and checks out my description boxes because I do spend a good amount of time in those description boxes. And I mean, look at this cheek today. Like, can we really complain about what this cheek's looking like? It's looking really good. The first product I wanted to talk about is the cleansing oil with seven ingredients. This is what I use to take off my makeup. It is upside down because it did come in faulty packaging with a leak, but it's something I was able to salvage and I just use it like this. I did review this in my 2020 skincare fave so far, so if you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. Needless to say, this has been one of my favorite products from Typology. It has this really beautiful consistency. It is a sunflower oil base, which is a really high quality oil, and it does a beautiful job of removing my makeup. So I really appreciate it. It is affordable. This is a product that has been a really pleasant surprise, and this is, of course, fragrance-free. Typology has a ton of these beautiful serums and oils that come in this stunning, simple, minimalist, glass packaging. This was what caught my eye because I was online searching furiously for a replacement to the Ordinary's Niacinamide Serum. And in my research, I came across the Niacinamide 12% by Typology. This is a very simple formula and it doesn't have the zinc that the Ordinary has in their formulation. This is just 12% niacinamide with a couple other things to stabilize the formula. It helps with the skin barrier, accelerating the skin healing process. And the consistency of this formula, I will take it out, is very light that completely absorbs into the skin. The, the formula and texture of this is so elegant and I've been really enjoying it. I think it's fantastic. It is more expensive than the Ordinary, but I don't use very much. It's been holding on really well for me. And if the Ordinary is sold out, it is nice to know that there's a really high quality alternative out there that doesn't have dimethicones in it. Speaking of niacinamide, there is a product I cannot stop talking about. This is the Caffeine 5% and Niacinamide Niacinamide 5% serum. This is designed for the eye area. And when you put this on, your eyes just wake up immediately. It feels so good in the morning. I honestly can't imagine my mornings without this. That's why I cannot stop speaking so highly of this product. This is one of my favorite products by Typology. If you only need one drop, you place it under your eyes and on your eyelids and it just wakes you up. So the caffeine helps wake up your eyes and the niacinamide will help with brightening and soothing on the under eye area. I don't know if I've noticed any difference in my dark circles under my eyes, but I definitely love this as a first step in the morning to help get me alive and awake for the day. Another really interesting and special product from Typology is their Azelaic Acid 10% Serum. This is an ingredient that I've found to be very helpful for my acne prone skin. I don't use this super consistently, but when I use azelaic acid every now and then as almost like a treatment for my skin, I do notice really positive benefits. I had azelaic acid in my Curology formulation a while back. Since learning about azelaic acid, I've always wanted to have a good serum on hand, and the only azelaic acid serums that I can find are two. The first is by The Ordinary, and the second is by Paula's Choice, and both of those products have dimethicone in it, and I just try to stay away from dimethicone. I don't think it works very well on my skin for the most part. Definitely check this out if you're curious more about azelaic acid and you want a dimethicone-free serum. 
god, oh my god. The next product is the Q10 and Macadamia Oil Serum. This is designed as a eye contour serum and it utilizes Q10, which is a naturally occurring coenzyme in the body. It helps stimulate cell regeneration, prevent the breakdown of collagen, and slow the loss of skin elasticity. I love again that the ingredient list is simple. It's sort of one of those products that it's gonna take a while to really understand or notice if it's doing a good job of preventing or reversing wrinkles, but I just loved the idea behind this product and that's why I've been trying it out. It's very nourishing, feels really high quality, and I think it's a really beautiful base before going on with makeup. So Typology has this line called Plantes Plant. I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce it. It's comprised of five different oil blends that are focused either on firming, purifying, soothing, hydrating, or radiance. So this formula, this is the soothing formula, utilizes cotton native cells. These cells have soothing and antioxidant properties. They calm irritation and increase the skin's tolerance levels. The other botanical oils that are utilized in this formula are raspberry botanical oil, macerated calendula oil, safflower oil, and hemisqualane. Highly suitable for sensitive skin. These, This is all music to my ears, so I've been really enjoying this oil. I use a couple drops at night as a last step, and I'm still in the process of really testing this out, but so far it's been so good. I do love me a good oil mixture, and this is really nice. It again does not have any fragrance. It doesn't have any essential oils either. It's just a very gentle, beautiful, and elegant formulation. So I really appreciate this product as well. So the last and final product I'm going to be talking about today is the Calendula Oily Macerate. This is a 3.5 fluid ounce container, and this is comprised of just two ingredients. The first ingredient is Calendula extract, and the second is sunflower seed oil. This product is recommended for dry and sensitive skin. You could use it on sunburns, you could use it on bug bites, you could use it anywhere that your skin just needs a bit more love and help with soothing. I've been using this on my face. I use a couple drops at night and it's absolutely beautiful. I think this product is so special. I didn't even think to use it on my body, but now maybe I'll start trying it out on my body because it is such a big container. It's so affordable. I really Really recommend it, especially if you're looking for a really high quality oil that doesn't break the bank and will help with being very nourishing to the skin. With that said, I hope this typology review video was helpful to you. If you have any more questions or you're curious about this brand, definitely check the link in the description to typology.com. I'm going to list all the products I talked about today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Have an absolutely beautiful day. Bye.